Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another Takara Transformers Masterpiece review, this time MP18S Silver Streak. For all your Transformer needs, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, I'll just quickly go through what you get with the figure. The usual box, um, this time in the similar monochrome style of Tiger Track. And the same sort of style on the back as well. So this was um, a Tokyo Toy Fair exclusive, I believe. But um, a whole bunch of retailers have got it available anyway. So that's all good. And here's the monochrome uh, instruction book. Here is the collector card, which I love. So I'll be placing this in the um, Ultra Pro card holders uh, straight after this. And I always love the MP artwork on the covers there. And being the exclusive version, it comes with the collector coin, which uh, looks to be pretty much identical to the Blue Streak version, except for the name, I guess. Um, and I'll be taking that out and putting it on display on my little um, coin easels as well. Um, it comes with a blaster, so I think that's pretty much the same. And this time he does come with two shoulder cannons in red. The Prowl and uh, Blue Streak original releases, the Amazon exclusive versions had uh, black versions with um, chrome tips. So this is more of a matte silver finish. Um, but it's still a bit metallic so that's uh, all good. I probably won't even bother using those. And just like Tiger Track, it gives you the option of putting the uh, insignia decals on or not, and um, just like Tiger Track, I'll uh, not bother putting those on because I suck at putting stickers on. <laughs> and here he is in the default uh, alt mode, and I was going to pass on this originally, but after um, I saw pictures online of the paint app, I couldn't resist. Now the original uh, Blue, uh, Blue Street release, which um, I'll just grab here for a quick comparison. Mine's still in bot mode. So this uh, original a uh, MP18S is, uh, I guess, accurate to the cartoon, where he did have silver parts on the legs and so on, but his hood and roof were black. So they, they went with the cartoon accuracy there. So still a great figure. But the original G1 toy uh, was all silver. So I guess they went back and decided to do that quick repaint. And everything is pretty much identical, even I think even the, the red parts. Um, but I'll give him a, a quick transform later and show you the, the difference in bot mode. But the best part really is the, the silver paint app. Um, it is a lighter grey um, and it's got nice little metallic uh, flecks throughout. And the paint app on mine is pretty much perfect. Um, there are a couple of marks on the hood here, uh, but not much I can really do about that. Um, it's not much to, to really complain about. Um, overall, it's pretty flash. And there's the close up of the symbol. So you can see the Z there, which is pretty nice. And uh, I do love that. Uh, Nissan Fair Lady an iconic shape. So there you have it in alt mode. I'll uh, quickly transform it off camera because <laughs> if you follow my videos you know um, I suck at doing these transformations on camera and it takes me forever so um, I'll uh, do a transformation and uh, be back with you guys in a sec. Alright back again and I gotta say oh, I actually prefer this over the original MP18 um, all the joints, um, there's normally perhaps some sort of mold degradation, but all the joints are tight, uh, probably even more so than the original, so no issues holding the gun either. Um, it is sort of having the same issue as uh, the original release where the right hand doesn't really fit properly, so you sort of get that weird angle, and that's why I've got the original holding the gun in his left hand, so I've just pretended he's left-handed. <laughs> Um, 
but everything else is pretty damn good. Um, the head sculpt is pretty much the same with a lighter shade of silver. Um, and there's the hood again, such a gorgeous paint app. Um, and you get the painted shoulder parts there, um, the elbows, uh, the, the hands are plastic and they look to be a, a bit of a clearer, more translucent plastic as well. The light sort of shines through them a little bit more. Um, everything else on the legs, so that's all painted there, all looks pretty good. So in comparison, um, obviously the hood, uh, the red plastic I think is the same everywhere. Trying to compare in the light here. So I think even the, the torso, uh, the, the groin part is the same. Um, but yeah, the silver here you can see is a, a darker sort of gunmetal as opposed to the really bright sort of silver on, on Silver Streak. But other than that, um, everything is pretty much the same. So no additional sort of paint apps in any further areas. Um, everything is just like the original really. So if you're into the, uh, the G1 sort of aesthetic, uh, this one is really <clears throat> the one you should be getting because uh, it uh, looks pretty much like the original G1 toy, uh, which unfortunately I don't have. Uh, the only Nissan mold I've got is uh, Prowl. Uh, which you can probably see in uh, my one of my retrospective reviews. Um, so I'll, um, like all my other repaints, I'll probably uh, keep this in alt mode um, to go along with Tiger Track and keep all the original G1 uh, characters in their bot modes. Um, all standing guard. So he is the gunner, so I think that looks uh, pretty damn cool. And having these in alt mode, um, I think that's pretty much the all the Autobots I've got where I've got a variant in um, that I can display in alt mode and all the others in bot mode so I think the only one I've got left is King Grimlock coming at uh, the start of August so I've got that pre-ordered through Big Bad Toy Store as well um, so if you're definitely into Masterpiece Transformers and missed out on King Grimlock I mean he's, he's going for like a thousand dollars on uh, eBay and they've done a second run at the start of August, so I'm definitely hanging out for that. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to do any more of these. I guess the, the big thing that people were, were hoping for, at least, was the original blue Diaclone uh, repaint, which they didn't do. Uh, so hopefully they do that in the future, because um, I've got uh, Tiger Track and G2 Sideswipe, so I'd love to have two repaints of this as well. So if they do do the... The blue die clone that uh, will make a hell of a lot of collectors happy so um, that's pretty much it um, for for this quick review I uh, hope you like that uh, keep up to date uh, hit that subscribe button um, if you like what you're seeing and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon thanks bye